I am at Burbank Airport taking a little bit of a break. $145 in four trips. That means I've made my money for a Wednesday and it's not even 11 o'clock. Now I'm taking a break because uh, I've been hustling this morning. Let me go over the details. First, let me show you the queue. Comfort and Uber X is full. XL is open. Um, but I think there's a bunch of flights coming in at 11 o'clock. Well, I can't see it from there. But then I know there's flights coming in right now. Does it show? It's not going to show us, unfortunately. But, you know, let me just go over what the income looks like today and how we earned it. And we'll start with the normal routine. Uh, for the week, $546 in around 12 hours of being active. That's 15 trips. The 21 hours online doesn't really matter. I leave the app on like right now. I'm talking. I'm making videos. I'm working on my YouTube channel. But the 546 up here is important because I want to get that to 600 today minimum. Once I'm at 600, um, by Wednesday, that's good. By Thursday, I want to be at 800. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday should be good money because it is a holiday. This whole week should be actually pretty good. We should be able to hit $300 every day. Now, if you're going to look at Tuesday. You're going to notice $85. I was only active for about two hours. I did two trips because I had to move. Uh, if I wasn't moving, yesterday was busy. I could have done a lot better. I haven't done an update for Monday. Monday we did $314. I worked a full day, 13 hours, active for seven and nine trips. And this is how we get to where we are. Now, let me go over Wednesday, which is today, which is live, by the way. Right now, the time is 11 in the morning, okay? Let me show you where we're at. We'll start from the bottom. Hey, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll start from bottom right here, okay? At 5.34 in the morning, I picked up my first passenger. The price was $25. They ended up giving me a $7 tip, ended up making $32, but here's what's important. Uber had me go back to Acton, where I live, to pick up somebody and drop them off in Winnetica. Hopefully I pronounced it right. Um, and I said I'll do it because I've known, I've been driving Uber long enough to understand that anytime you're in an area and you get gas and you wait 10, 15 minutes, um, it's going to keep me in a container, it's going to keep the passengers in a container, and it's going to keep another driver that's possibly going through that area in a container, right? If I leave and there's no other driver close enough, then for some reason I'll get the ride, Uber will tell me to go back. And I do that all the time. If you watch my channel, you see me always talking about it. Leave. Wait 15 minutes and leave. Wait 15 minutes and leave. When you leave, it'll tell you to go back and pick up somebody. And I'll give you another example of that. My second passenger today was at 6.52. Right after I dropped out the first passenger, I did a little bit of YouTube work. And uh, it's showing Canoga Park. But literally, it was Winnetica. That's where I dropped off in the valley. And then Camarillo is where I dropped off the second passenger. And I was thinking, man, where's Camarillo? Where's Camarillo? But I was like, you know what? It's 7 in the morning, 20 bucks. I'm going to take it. I don't care where it takes me. And Camarillo ended up being going west towards Ventura. And big lesson learned. Um, and I'll tell you what happened next. So that lady was going to work. No tip. It was a tough ride. But remember, one ride builds you for the next one. Let's look at the next ride after that. Oh, wow, that girl gave me a tip. I didn't know that. Then I picked up somebody at 8.11. This is within, I think, 15 minutes. Again, I took a break, went to the bathroom, did a little bit of YouTube work. From Camarillo, I was leaving, and I was going down towards the beach, and I was going to cut across Malibu. But I had Uber X turned off for some reason. I guess when you're in a new area, for some reason, Uber will... Um, I don't know. Like, like in the settings, it will turn... Uber X on, it will turn Uber X off or Uber X and share. And if you go from one area to another area and you forget, guess what? Uber X was off. I was leaving. I didn't get anything. And then I was like, let me check my settings. This is weird. I didn't even get a $5 trip. What's going on? Turn my app on. Boom. It told me to go back where I dropped off the last passenger to pick up this passenger for, I think it was $13. It was showing $13 to $17. That didn't make any sense to me. I'm like, why is it showing me a range? But you know what? It's a different area. Maybe Uber app is or algorithm is slightly different there. Um, picked up the lady. She was getting her car fixed. Dropped her off at Westlake Village. Now I'm back headed towards Los Angeles. But while I was dropping, look at what I got. That's right. 
$70 Uber XL for what? 45 miles and 52 minutes? That's the ride that I wanted. And again, it, Uber took me back to Camarillo from Westlake Village, which means I went about 15 minutes, maybe 15 miles back, and I dropped off a Hispanic family, first time going to Universal Studios, and I got a chance to practice my Spanish, okay? Oh, let me back up. This guy's trying to leave. Can you get out, bro? Oh, good. All right, I'm gonna move up. Hey, let me check the app. If somebody's moving, that means the queue might be moving. No, queue's not moving. Where's he going? Oh, someone's gonna try to parallel park. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it, don't parallel. Oh, he found a parking spot. Yeah, Burbank is a mess right now. But you know what? I'm gonna keep making this video and post it once we're at about 10 minute mark. Um, and then I'll figure out what to do. And I can't get too close to the guy in front of me because my car is big, I can't get out. Okay, we're good. It's basically, everyone's parked here, everyone's parked there, and everyone's parked in the lane. So there's just a slight way way to exit and leave. And I see a parking spot, man. I'm tempted to go take that. Oh, no, he backed into it, damn it. It's all good. Okay, let's go back to finishing up my report for you guys. Okay, so where was I? Okay, I was going over my summary right here. Okay, let's go back to the activity and then now we'll do it like this. Okay, so right now it's 11.02 in the morning. So this is basically how I drive. Right now I'm in San Fernando Valley. Um, there was a gentleman that's been texting me and um, talking to me on one of my YouTube channels and asking for a strategy. So this video is perfect for you. Look, uh, $32 for 34 miles, but the ride initially was showing, showing $25. I know in the right shirt guys, they say um, uh, cash or trash. Look, sometimes other people's trash ends up becoming cash for you, especially in December right now. You have to pay attention to the fact that people are on a good mood, people are on a vacation, they're gonna tip you. And I can show you that. I'll show you uh, right after this as I finish the video off. The second passenger, Filipino lady, she's not going to tip, man. It doesn't matter how nice or how kind you are in service. But it positioned me to get the next two passengers, right? At 8.11, I got 20 bucks with a tip. Then at 8.34, I got 70 bucks. Now, if the $70 ride doesn't tip you, it's okay. We've already made $145 today. And I think a tip came in from yesterday, too. Let me show you guys. And then we'll end the video on that note. Yeah, so these are all the tips that came in today. One, two, three, four, five, right? Ignore this Tesla thing. And I don't support Elon Musk. I don't think I'm gonna do it. And then before that, I was getting some tips too. Yeah, one, two, three, so look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tips came in. And if I go look at, and I try to look at my wallet to cash out, oh, I didn't cash out yesterday. Well, never mind. I didn't cash out yesterday, so it's showing 264. But $85 of that is from yesterday. I was trying to show you how much more money is in the container right now. Now I'm gonna double check. Uh, nothing has moved since I've been making this video, but I got a chance to take a little bit of a break, work on my YouTube channel, give you guys another video. And honestly, if you find if you found any value in this, right? Because my whole goal is to help Uber drivers serve uber drivers help uber drivers help passengers right nothing against uber Uber's gonna do what they're gonna do their ceo is designed to do what he's a jew he's got to make money and that's okay my job is what to teach you how to make money and how to understand the algorithm now i'm not saying i'm the best driver um i have my way of driving right uh, if you just look at my weekly stats last week i made I made $1,454 in 50 trips, five zero, right? My strategy is this, do the most amount of money in the least amount of trips. I don't think anybody else is teaching you that on YouTube, right? And yes, I was online for almost 96 hours, but you know where those 96 hours are going. I'll show you in the background and then we'll end this video. Right now, when I end this video, this is literally what I'm gonna be working on. Let's go over here. Let's go look at my AA creation account and module one writing. I'm literally gonna go and finish this off right now. I've been working on this for a couple of days and I'm stuck somewhere down here on my uh, writing skill for YouTube, right here. This is where I'm at. 
I'm gonna keep working on this and as soon as my document is done then basically it's gonna turn into this which I'll show you and my job is honestly somebody asked me to pull a little bit forward okay and we're gonna go over here see writing module so once I have it in a Google document then I go ahead and I take it and I turn it into art like this. Let me see if I can turn it into a presentation for you. Boom, there it is. So the document that you see in the background, it's becoming um, my third course, third video on my course. And the foundation of content creation is writing, um, overview. Writing is more than just assembling words. It is the cornerstone of all content creation. It's about clarifying your thoughts and communicating your ideas effectively, right? And I'm working on it. Lesson one, core tools for writing. And I'm gonna start going over ChatGPT, Google Docs, Notion, WordPress. This is everything that I use. People are looking at me, people are trying to park right now. And if you go over here, you'll see, this is where I write it. I put it in Google Docs, right? You can see right there, writing, the foundation of content creation, overview, lesson one. And that's basically where I'm at. Now I'm on lesson two, blogging examples, right? And I can't do that because I'm still finishing up the document. I want to make sure I make it perfect for you guys. All right, my friends, this video is going to end right here. Turn my face on. If you found any video, no, if you found any value in this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And honestly, ask me questions. There's so many of you that are emailing me and you guys are texting me on my cell phone and every single one I get back to you. Why? Because right now, I would say there's less than 10 people that are asking me for advice. No one's really paying, but I'm still helping you because this is how you bring value. I bring value to you. I respond to your text messages. I respond to your emails. Eventually, you might hire me to consult you on Uber or you might hire me to cons uh, for real-time content creation in the course that I'm creating. You can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. God bless you. Have a beautiful day and happy holidays.